Hi, in this short video, I'll take a look at the two new adjustment nodes that come with my extension pack 5. I'm starting out with a fairly simple pattern here. That is a procedural pattern coming out of the mask shelves. So if I go to the mask shelf, look for the medieval cross. So this is the pattern I'm using here. And it's a fully procedural pattern, meaning you can adjust it fully to your liking. The first adjustment node we will look at is the gradient from image node. So you can create this node obviously both in the layer stack as well as in the node graph. You can find it under the filters, extension pack, color correction, gradient from image. I'm going to hook this up and view it. And the node is fairly simple. It just works by sampling colors of the given gradient map. So if I give it the simple image of Google and plug this in here, I can adjust the color bands you can see I already have something that matches in tonality to the given image. You can also change the input detail, which just modifies the sampling. And you can also random seed this just to experiment a little bit. So we can see if we find something that we like. Here we are. I'm just gonna manually step through the seed just by placing my cursor into the seed field and then using mouse up down, you can increment the numbers and once you have the like multiple values so over 10 for example i can go in smaller steps just by placing my cursor so this is standard mari functionality but it's always good to to mention that so this way we can kind of test out different patterns and see where we end up with the next adjustment layer is the value adjustment so if i just create a value adjust so this node allows you to adjust the balance, contrast, and brightness. Let's plug this in, view the result, and take a look at the node properties. So in here we can shift the balance, we can change the contrast, and adjust the brightness. We can invert the final result, and set the clamping, which is set by default to 0 to 1. And finally, we can switch the brightness mode. By default, the brightness works fairly simply by adding the value specified here to the result. If I switch to the traditional brightness mode, I'm using the standard Mari brightness mode of changing the brightness depending on the source pixels. So you can see here, the black always stays black, and then the values in between black and white get increased in this case or decreased. The brightness slider is limited to one, however, you can always enter a value above. 